Can you explain what the picture is supposed to be in? Do I'm so confused. Oh shit, I forgot. God damn it. Sorry guys. I forgot that there's a lot of normies here. So I don't know where to begin, but I guess early on there was a meme called Dark Brandon. Okay, friend of the show, Ed Germentum claims he invented it, but actually there's a darker past for Dark Brandon. It actually came out of China presenting Joe Biden, the American president, as this scary figurehead that actually is doing a tremendous amount of work that is like playing into the right-wing conspiracies of Joseph Robinette Biden. It was basically making fun of Joe Biden and making fun of the right-wingers who think he's this like terrifying figure, okay? But why Brandon? Uh, they call him Brandon, which by the way, the image description literally says dark Brandon, which means that the intern straight up called Joe Biden Brandon. Brandon is uh, is is a, a uh, I guess, uh, pejorative for Biden. It, it started off with uh, a NASCAR race where a dude named Brandon, I forget what his name is. He actually won the race. And then everyone was screaming, fuck Joe Biden uh, in the crowd. And then uh, the, the anchor was like, oh, see, they're saying, let's go, Brandon. And then the conservatives immediately jumped on it. And this, like, dominated the media cycle for a week or maybe a month even. And that's where the fuck Joe Biden FJB slash let's go, Brandon meme uh, became a, a, a real thing. Okay, here is the, here it is. Thank you to all of our partners. Oh, my God, it's just such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd, let's go, Brandon. Brandon, you told me you were going to kind of hang back those first two stages and just... Like, they're very clearly screaming, fuck Joe Biden. And then the, the reporter says, like, oh, let's go. They're saying, let's go, Brandon. Okay, the more you explain it, the more I understand the previous Normie reaction. Yes. So there's two different, there's two different uh, memes merging here. Okay, so the dark Brandon meme basically came from that. Uh, where where we were, the red glowing eyes scare is a funny meme in and of itself. If it was 2016, the eyes mean he's racist and alt-right. If it's 2021, he's in, into crypto shit and GME. And if it's 2024, he's a Zionist with a Ukraine, Taiwan, Hong Kong flag and the display name. <laughs> yeah. So basically, when you hear someone say, like, let's go, Brandon, still to this day, they're just uh, trying to say fuck Joe Biden, but in, a, I guess, polite way, which is stupid, because you can just say fuck Joe Biden instead of that, but... In any case, that's where that meme comes from. And then they basically leaned into this. Like, the older Biden has become in the eyes of the public, and the older Biden has become physically, right? The more they've, like, leaned into this meme of, like, Dark Brandon. Now, it doesn't make sense, though, when you're the one doing the meme. Because the origination of the meme itself was to make fun of Joe Biden, and also to make fun of those who think Joe Biden is this like terrifying figurehead who was like a communist, right? He, Joe Biden, the ultra, you know? Why? Because he, he, he put forward like a bipartisan spending bill, right? On, on infrastructure or whatever. This iteration of the meme is basically the, the, it came right after the Super Bowl ended and people were claiming, the right wing was claiming that Travis Kelsey is sponsored by Pfizer and, uh, you know, Taylor Swift, who had previously endorsed Joe Biden against Donald Trump in the past election cycle is a 34 year old liberal woman for understandable reasons. And so the conservatives were trying to basically turn this into like a culture war issue, right? Um, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are uh, liberal pro vaccination and, and pro Joe Biden. Whereas like, uh, you know, I guess God's team is the, the freaking 49ers for some weird reason. Uh, even though it's a San Francisco team. So that doesn't really make sense. But I guess like their quarterback is like a dude who loves Jesus. <laughs> so that's all it took for them, right? Purdy. So uh, everyone was saying like Joe Biden is going to rig the Super Bowl. Joe Biden is going to rig the Super Bowl. I myself obviously leaned into it as well because it's really funny to think that like the Joe Biden would rig the Super Bowl or that the Super Bowl was rigged. And oh yeah, Nick Bosa also loves Trump too. Nick Bosa is just like incredibly racist. He is, he's very hot but also incredibly racist. So there's that too. Ultimately though, uh, yeah, Bosa is the most racist in the league. Yeah, dude, I saw, I saw the way he was going after Patrick Mahomes, okay? He would, he would literally leave his own guy. Stop covering his own guy because he was like, nah, dude, I, I need to kill him. He sees, he sees a quarterback that's not like full white. It's over. He, he wants to kill him because he's racist. Anyway, 
So I think I did a relatively decent job of trying to explain this to the normies who are like completely unfamiliar, completely oblivious about this meme or whatever. But yeah, that's where the dark branded meme comes from. And then the 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 Democratic Party uh, the, the have has like leaned into this meme, even though everybody fucking thinks Joe Biden is very old, and that's like actually a major problem for Joe Biden. Uh, but uh, as the right wing leading up to the Super Bowl was claiming that the Super Bowl was going to be rigged, and that like Travis Kelsey and and Taylor Swift were going to come out after Travis Kelsey wins the Super Bowl with a touchdown himself, even though that didn't happen, um, the last touchdown or whatever, uh, he he was going to, uh, Taylor Swift was going to say, vote Joe Biden, which is a pure, fantastical, very silly uh, idea that could only be cooked up by the most uh, schizophrenic conservatives, but now that's just mainstream politics, okay? So, yeah, none of that happened. None of that, of course, happened. But Joe Brandon came out as soon as the fucking, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs won, said, just like we drew it up, leaning into the meme that they actually cooked up the Super Bowl. Now, obviously, obviously, this, in my opinion, is going to probably cause a bunch more people to genuinely lose their minds, probably go and, like, go on a decapitation spree or fucking... Uh, it, it is obviously just a joke. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course is a joke. Obviously is a joke. What do you mean? No, I don't really think Joe Brandon cooked up the fucking Super Bowl. Shut the fuck up liberal chatters and Jesus Christ. And I think it's the type of joke that like plays well for the normies in general too, like liberal normies in general, but apolitical people might get mad at it because they're just disappointed in the administration uh, across the board. But my favorite part of this is that I think personally right-wing reactionaries who are already at the precipice of snapping, this is their 13th reason why. Okay. This is like the straw that breaks the camel's back. I, I foresee, I foresee right-wingers.